Do you like dancing? No, I do not like dancing. Where are you going, John? To the stadium. Let's go together. Okay, let's go. Look, the bus is coming. Where is Scarlett from? She's from London. I'm very thirsty. What do you want to drink? An orange juice, please. Why do you trust him? Because he never lies to anybody. What about Susan? I do not like her. Why do you dislike Susan? Because she never keeps her promise. What are you reading? A book of stories. Do you like reading? Yes, I read every day. Emma is looking very excited these days. Yes, you're right. What's happened? Tomorrow is her birthday. How many days are there in a week? There are seven days in a week. Wait for me. Hurry up, we're leaving. Okay. Hello, is this seat vacant? Hi, no, my sister will sit here. I've lost my key. Where did you lose it? I don't remember. Have you seen John? I saw him yesterday. He's ill. Really, I must visit him. What did you want to buy? A pair of shoes. You may look at them. Are the shoes very expensive? No, they're not. May I try them on? Yes, of course. Who was the first president of the USA? I'm not sure. I don't know. Can you pass me the salt? Yes, sure. Hello. Can you help me? Hi, I will if I can. What's the problem? I'm lost. I cannot find my way back. Then go straight, you will see. Why are you smoking again? I thought you had given it up. I would like to, but I cannot. What did you say when you meet her? Unfortunately, I did not meet her. What is your favorite football team? Sorry, I do not like football. Let's go to the zoo. I want to see wild animals. I would want to, but I'm at work now. What about after work? What do you think? Okay, after work sounds great. Where would you want to travel if you had a car? I would like to travel to the historical places. Happy birthday, my dear friend. I'm happy to see you on my birthday. This gift is for you. This is very good, thanks. I'm glad you liked it. I'm sorry, I did not see you. No problem, never mind. Can I help you? Yes, please. My phone is not working. How do you go to university? On foot. And how does your friend go to university? By car. What are you doing this weekend? I will go to a movie with my friend. What about you? Do you want to go see a movie with us? What movie are you going to watch? We are not sure yet. Is there something you want to watch? There's nothing I can think of. So, will you come with us? No thanks. Maybe another time. What's for dinner tonight? It is whatever you are planning on cooking. You're not going to cook? No, I always cook. Yes, and I love your meals. I don't care. If you're hungry, cook dinner. Are you serious? I'm very tired tonight. Okay, I'll cook dinner this time. Thank you, I'm going to sleep. Do I wake you up when dinner is ready? Yes, please. Have you finished washing clothes? I've only finished my white clothes. When you do your darks, can you wash some of mine too? Do you have a lot of clothes that need to be washed? No, and if it is a problem, you don't have to do this. I will wash your clothes, don't worry. What time is it? It is a quarter to five. Aren't we supposed to be at Jim's house by five o'clock? Five or five thirty. He said, it doesn't make any difference. Then maybe we can pick your suit up at the cleaners. Sure, we have plenty of time. Have I seen you somewhere before? No, I don't think so. But your face is familiar. Wait, I know. We were on the same bus to New York last month. Oh yes, now I remember. Yeah, they say the world is small. I'd like to know when he is going to come and see us. That's difficult to say, 
but probably he'll try to borrow money. I wonder whether he often borrows money. Yes, often. Were you busy last night? Yes, I was busy. I was cleaning the house. What about you? No, I was not. I was sleeping. What were you doing between 6 and 8 yesterday? I was watching TV. Why you ask? Because you promised to come and see me at 7. I'm very sorry. I forgot all about it. May I go play with my friends? Have you done your homework? No, I haven't yet. You can't go out until you've done your homework. You look very tired. What's going on? I could not sleep last night. Were you watching TV? No, my son was crying the whole night. I think this shirt is prettier than that. What do you think? I don't know. I like them both. Why do you like this one more? The design is more interesting and the colors are brighter. And it is not very expensive either. I agree, you're right. Do you really think so? I'll buy it then. What do you do in your free time? I read books, watch TV. Don't you have any hobbies like coin collecting or things like that? No, I don't have any hobbies. What about you? I just have one hobby, photography. It's expensive, but it's a lot of fun. What can I do for you today? Hi, I must return this book. Can I do anything else for you? I want to take these books. May I see your library card? Sure, it's here. These books are due back in two days. Alright, thanks. I've got a lot of things to do before I leave. Really? What kind of things? I must have my hair cut and I'd like to get my car washed as well. Haven't you had your hair cut already? As you can see, no. Unlike his uncle, Daniel is a clever boy. He never throws away any second-hand tool. For him, even the smallest screw can serve a purpose. I wish I had a son like Daniel. It takes forever to get something fixed. Never mind the fact that I spent a fortune on that. Currently, my TV is on the blink. Why don't you get a new one and spare yourself the trouble? I've already ordered a new one. Way to go. I can't take it anymore. Living in this rundown building is like hell. I'm completely run down. Isn't it better than living amidst the hustle and bustle of cities? Not at all. As soon as we pay off our loan, I'll move back to the city. I have had enough of this life already.